Good morning, folks. There are no sunspots, solar flares, or ejections heading this way, and yet we've still got space weather. We'll look ahead to two items of importance for tomorrow with a peek in the rearview mirror, but first let's get to spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours to be exceptionally calm and quiet in the Earth-facing longitudes. Sunspots have all turned out of view, leaving the eruptive potential on the far side where there is evidence of a modest CME leaving over the northwestern limb. You can see it in 304 angstroms here. Well, folks, we've been expecting the northern coronal hole to produce some geomagnetic unrest when its speedy stream arrived. That happened overnight, and unlike many streams we see, the density has not dropped out to nearly nothing, as is often the case with the faster onset, and a geomagnetic storm is underway this morning. We'll be eyeing it throughout the day. You will also remember that the setup of this coronal hole plus the Mercury conjunction had a set to look for big earthquakes. They've been happening, and they didn't stop yesterday either. 6.7 striking in the few hours just before the faster solar wind arrived. Couple things to look for tomorrow. There will be a briefing on the latest carbon mission from NASA. It'll be interesting to see that in light of the recent revelations that pollutants other than CO2 may be chewing into its 93% climate change causation position in the mainstream. Of course, the much more fun event will be in the sky. Sadly, it will be tough to see for us here on the ground, but Hopefully, we had some alien field trips up on asteroid 2012 TC4 as it zips by tomorrow. Hopefully, they get there in time to look up at Antarctica as it whizzes by in a close mist to the south. Folks, the top news of the day came out last night. Two new papers have teamed up in a search for dark matter in the place it is supposed to dominate and fulfill its position in the mainstream science, the cosmic web. The white are galaxies, and they know that there is a tenuous structure holding and linking them together, the purple, and until now it was thought to be dark matter. The two papers didn't find anything exotic or new. In fact, they found nothing but protons and neutrons. Last night's video is called Dark Matter is Dead, and it's been a long, anxious, tiresome road waiting to say so after many of you already have. After these two new papers, I am indeed ready to call it. Last night's video is not one you skip. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.